Hey YouTube, it's your girl Michelle. Excuse the hair because this is a makeup tutorial somewhat. Um, I decided I wanted to try out this product by Milani. It's the Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. The reason why is, if you notice my skin, I have a lot of spots in here. Um, I have used a lot of concealer and a lot of primer and a lot of foundation because I do suffer from rosacea because of my skin um, tone and things of this nature. So I've been researching this product on YouTube and I decided I'm going to try it out because it does have a concealer and it does say it's a full coverage foundation. So I have done my eyebrows and my eye makeup and we're going to just get right into the review. Um, the color I picked was 09 Tan. Um, this is a medium to full coverage foundation, lightweight, oil-free formula because I am oily in these parts. Um, it's a long wearing water sweat proof concealer. So we're going to try this out to see if it's going to cover up all these spots without me having to use any type of concealer. Also, um, I am, I, I, I have already primed my face. Um, with my MAC Prep and Prime. So let's just see what this is going to do. I'm going to start off putting a little bit on my Beauty Blender here. I'm going to see if this is going to be a full coverage. Um, I usually use NARS in the color Cadiz or Tahoe depending on the time of the year. So let's just see what this is all about. Milani. Well, it looks like right now it's giving a good coverage. I'm kind of liking it. And it does appear to be my color. I may have used a bit too much. We're going to blend it in and we're going to see. We're going to see. How well I like it. Just a little bit more for my forehead area. Gotta wash this hair. Got this hair pulled back and snatched. So far, so good. And it doesn't have a s bad smell. I hope it doesn't. So. Yeah, it's actually, well, it's up there with my NARS, really. Mm. And it is full coverage, as y'all can see. Making sure I got it good. Hmm, what you think? It's covering up my spots. Let me put a little, um, and it's not too yellow. It's actually kind of close to my color that I usually um I usually use all the time. Um, like I said, I use um, NARS in that color Tahoe. Um, right now, I think I'm using I'm using Tahoe right now. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's actually it's a matte product. Oh, it's dry. I mean, I'm just putting a little powder on top to set it. Right now, I'm a little e.l.f. finishing powder to set it because I want to see. But so far, so good. And I had a spot here and I had a few there and it's covering it. From what I can tell. Like I said, I did purchase this um, today. I purchased it from um, Walmart. It was like nine bucks or less, I want to say. Um, put a little bit of my highlight on just to see what it's going to look like with full makeup. Uh, come through glow come through <laughs> I love this um this highlight I love to look like I just woke up in the morning and I'm glowing um 
need to put on a little blush I need to highlight like I say it is very matte it's not dewy like my um my NARS I'm gonna get a lipstick to put on right quick it's not pretty much doesn't shine like my NARS because my NARS is sheer glow see it did cover up my spots um it's well blended i'm looking at it in the mirror behind the camera so i can see it um i do like this this like i say i don't the drawback is nars and this looks like i get a little bit more of the milani than the nars um not sure it doesn't say the foot ounces on here i might have rubbed it off um, oh, no, you get the same amount. Oh, okay. So, compare the difference. Um, I've been wearing the Norris for two years, but I do like the Milani. Um, I probably have to do an updated video to tell you guys during the day if the oil came through or not. Um, but, as you can see, it's, you can see just a little bit of my rosacea coming through. I didn't use a concealer, but... Possibly had I put a concealer on top of the makeup, you might not see it at all. So, um, yeah, I give this a thumbs up. Like, really, um, you do have to use a little bit more of this than my NARS, so that could be a possible drawback because my NARS just lasts me about five months. But this, I probably have to buy this like once a month or once every two months. Because you do have to use more. Um, consider my NARS, I use one pump. I use two and a half, maybe three of this one. So I would have to use more of this. Um, I do like it. It is my color. I was skeptical because I didn't know if I wanted the light tan or the tan. Because I didn't want to appear to be orange or yellow. But actually, like, you know. Ooh, got a bump right there coming through. Um... Yes, yeah, pretty much blend with my skin tone. Um, I would give this Milani product a thumbs up. I have used several Milani products in the past, and they've never let me down. So, I would say this would be the perfect product to use. Um, and with the concealer in it, hey, it's covering up my face. I don't have any blemishes. I am in the process of going to the dermatologist. So, um, yeah. Like, I love it. And it's blending well with my neck as well. So it's really no problems there. And hey, eight, nine bucks. It's worth a try if you're on a budget or, you know, you just trying to find something friendly now the kids going back to school or whatnot. So yeah, I love it. Um probably come back with a review maybe later on this week to let you know um if it held up or if I became oily or whatnot, if it broke me out even more than I'm already broken out. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.